Hi boys and girls. I have another story today from one of my very, very favorites, Eric Carl, who writes his stories and illustrates them, which means he makes the pictures and he writes the words for his stories. This one's called The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carl. Have you ever wanted to be something that you're not? Or have you wanted to be able to do something that you can't? <sighs> I think we've all felt that way sometimes. This story is about a chameleon who has the unbelievable ability to change colors when he moves from one object to the next. So if he's on a green leaf, he turns green. If he's on a red apple, he turns red. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? But he wished he could be some other things and do some other things. And in the end, he found out something different. The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carl. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish, and then it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see it. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned a sparkling green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat and waited. Only its eyes moved up, down, sideways until it spotted a fly and then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue would shoot out and catch the fly that was his life it wasn't very exciting but one day the chameleon saw a zoo it had never seen so many beautiful animals. The chameleon thought, how small I am and how weak, how slow. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. But was he happy? No. I wish I could be handsome like a flamingo. I wish I could be smart like a fox. I wish I could swim like a fish. I wish I could run like a deer. I wish I could see things far away like a giraffe.
I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle. I wish I could be strong like an elephant. I wish I could be funny like a seal. I wish I could be like people. Just then a fly flew by. The chameleon was very hungry. But he was very, very mixed up. He was a little of this and a little of that. He was a little polar bear and flamingo, a little bit of fox and fish and deer and giraffe and turtle and a little bit of elephant, a little bit of seal and a little bit of people. and he couldn't catch the fly. I wish I could just be myself again. And the chameleon's wish came true and it caught the fly. Sometimes we have to stop and appreciate the things that we can do, don't we? and the things that we are, because we're all pretty special in our own ways. We can all do some things that are pretty cool, even if we can't do everything that everyone else can do. Today we're gonna draw a chameleon like Eric Carle did, something similar to what he did. And this one should be fun to color in. So I'm gonna turn my camera here And we'll start with a triangle shaped head. You notice Eric Carl's head on his chameleon is kind of a triangle shape, isn't it? So we're going to start with that, a triangle shaped head. It's an upside down triangle. And then on my triangle, I'm going to make two big eyes. One, two, and of course, I'll put a dot in the center of each one. No matter who you are, animal or person, you can't see without a pupil in the middle of your eye. And you can give him a smile if you want to. Because he was happy to be himself in the end of the story, wasn't he? And I want you to start at the top of his head and make a curved line that comes over about that far and stops. And then from the bottom of the triangle, make a straight line that comes out about halfway, not too far. And we're gonna give our chameleon a long curly tail. So start with that line that you just drew. And I want you to come down and go around just a little bit. Then go to the curved line you drew on the top. Come down underneath and go around and finish up where you drew the other curved line. And now you can see we have the chameleon's body and we have his tail. See there? We have the chameleon's body and his tail. Chameleons have four legs. If you have room, you can put them on there. They're kind of webbed and they're short feet. So I'm just going in and out and in and out and in and out. Come down in and out and in and out and in and out. And I'll make one more in and out and in and out 
and in and out. There's his four feet. Now, in order to make this fun to color in, we're going to divide our chameleon's body using some lines. Not too many because you'll get tired of coloring in too many areas. Looks like Eric Carl drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So I'm going to draw one here from the top of his body to the bottom, one from the top to the bottom, going down his tail from top to bottom, top to bottom, just following around the curve of his tail and now I've divided him up into little areas and you can color those areas in any colors you want to because the chameleon can turn all colors so why not make it fun right now remember the chameleon has a very long and sticky tongue so go to his mouth come out of his mouth with a line that goes around and around and around in a swirl. There's the chameleon's tongue. And if you want to, you can draw some little dots in there like a head and a body and a couple of wings and maybe some antennas and it will look as though he caught a fly. And then you can add anything else that you want to. If you want him to be sitting on a branch, you can draw a branch here. If you want to put a sun up in the sky, like Eric Carle often does in his pictures. He likes to make his suns out of shapes. So this sun is made from a circle shape and lots of rectangles that come out from the circle. And then of course you can color in your chameleon and sign it at the bottom. You always sign your artwork. Here's mine that's all finished. I colored it in all bright and colorful. I signed my name at the bottom. I hope you have fun doing that. It's one of my favorite stories and I was happy to share it with you today. Eric Carle's books are always good. If you get to the library, ask your librarian to help you find some Eric Carl stories. They're always fun to read and they're always fun to look at. Until next time, boys and girls, happy day.